Fade. 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 No. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Overanalyzed, our awesome Overwatch coaching series. Today, we're going to take a look at a Moira player. And the reason for this is I think Moira is going to be super, super meta. And what I'm going to do in this video is take a look at a borderline sort of plat gold Moira because that's where most of the player base is and I think this is a hero that if you pick her up if you're a support player you're going to be able to absolutely dominate because I think we're going into a meta where Moira will be the healer of choice okay so remember guys if you want to send a video clip in for consideration to appear on this series then follow the instructions that have been on the screen okay let's play this and let's read the email the email is kind of minimal because I wasn't really reading the emails for these I just wanted this level range of hero or this SR range of player, I guess. So the email just says, hello, unit lost. I played a lot of support role. I've been playing high gold, low plat since competitive season six. So the ideal candidate. I think I can play better and that my decisions are not too bad. I just want a general opinion of a good Moira with more experience in this hero than me to improve. Okay. So one of the things we're going to do straight away is we're just going to pause this straight away because Moira, the reason why Moira is going to become meta is if we go into an Orisa, a Reaper, a May style meta, those heroes are sedimentary. And what I mean by that is they want to take over a point, they want to set up a bunker, they just want to sit there. And while they're sitting there, you can heal them. You are the most effective healer for that job by far. Of course, May can self-heal and Reaper can self-heal. Now, again, this is based on a bit of speculation, but Moira is always... Uh, that that would be us going into that meta, but Moira is always a phenomenally good pick. Um, you, you tend to see some stuff at the very higher end of the ladder where Moira players may get flamed, like, why can't you play something else? Could you play an Ana or whatever? But who cares about that? Let's be real. Like, who cares? Things are changing anyway. So when Roll Queue goes live, which it will do next week, uh, the meta will be completely different. There's balance changes coming through. There'll be Sigma. There's a ton of stuff coming out. Um, so yeah, Moira is definitely one to watch out for. So when we look at the team comps here, uh, oh no, do I have my pen? Oh god, no. Oh, ah! there, there it is. I was so excited to do it, I forgot about my pen. Uh, anyway, so we're using the replay tool here, so this means we won't get any uh, voice comms or anything like that, which is fair enough, whatever. When we look at our team comp, though, we've got you on the Moira, which is, obviously is fine. We've got the Soldier, that's okay. Uh, we've got the uh, the Lucio. It's actually kind of funny me looking at this, because I don't play on live anymore. So to see three supports is like, what? <laughs> but the Moira in this comp is kind of going to be okay. The problem is it's going to be hard for us to heal the Winston and the Diva might be off doing Diva stuff. So in this comp right here, Moira might not be optimal. But like I said, we're doing this with a, a view towards the future with Roll Q, and I do think Moira is going to be mega strong. Okay, let's get stuck into this and let's see what you do. So you faded out of the door. This is cool. It looks like we're going to go for a cheeky orb. So we throw in the damage orb and we get no value from the damage orb. So I guess... We can be nitpicky here because we should be. It's just overanalyzed. Think about when and where you should throw this. If you really want to throw a damage orb out, where should you throw it? Watch where you throw it. So you just launch it straight down there, hoping the enemy team walk into it. Well, as we know, I mean, watch your, your um, ultimate charge here. I think you might get a few hits, but it's nothing too crazy. Watch this. So it's gone forward. That 2% is just natural ultimate tick. 3% natural ultimate tick. So I guess you didn't actually... Well, we didn't get the hit registration mark come up in the middle anyway. So we didn't hit anybody with that. So we basically wasted it. Now we're going into combat. So we don't have our orb available. So there's two schools of thought here. The first one is, yes, sure, you can throw out your orb here. But maybe wait a little bit just to get a bit more damage. Or you keep the orb in case the enemy team engage. Remember, if you throw this orb out, if it's damage or if it's healing, before a fight begins, you're not going to get value from it. I would say the thing to do here with Moira is not go for the ultimate charge, which ultimately might only get you maybe 10%, 12%, 30%, 15 if you're lucky, if you throw it through them. That's if they don't, well, we, we can see they don't have a diva, so they can't stop it. They do have a Genji, you could deflect it though. Um, I would save the heal orb. So when the enemy team engage onto me, I throw my heal orb out and then I just start spraying healing everywhere. They, they just won't be able to kill us. Um, but hey, it doesn't matter. You're being cheeky. I do this sometimes with Moira. It's cool. So we throw out the damage orb. We get nothing from it. Then we start healing before we're taking damage. So we've wasted quite a bit of juice there. See this? We've wasted this juice. It's, now, you might think that's not a lot, but when Moira runs out of juice, it is you just can't do anything. You're resigned to trying to damage people to get a bit of, you know, get the old suck on them to get a bit of healing juice back, but you don't want to be doing that if you absolutely critically need to heal people. So, first things first, a little bit of waste of the heal there, but that's all right. Now, Reinhardt's got his barrier down. 
Okay, so we're still prioritizing damage orbs. But but wouldn't it have been better to throw the damage orb this way? Yeah, so why did we throw it out randomly onto the point? Think about it, right? Just think logically. I always say this. Overwatch is not a difficult game. And Overwatch is one of these very special games where... You know what? Let's do story time. It's not story time, but this is... A, I don't know what this is, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Overwatch is a very special game because you have to use your head, right? Now, everybody talks about, oh, you know, if you've got an Overwatch brain, do you know what's going on? If you've got Overwatch experience, whatever. That is a very complex subject. It just means... Do you understand what's happening at any given moment in the game? Can you read the game? Can you follow the play, the flow of the match and all of this? I think in a previous overanalyzed, I did compare this back to um, some stuff when I used to play football years and years ago, or soccer for my American friends out there, because um, I used to be the captain of the teams and all this. Anyway, none of that matters, right? What I'm trying to say is when you... I forgot. No, I remember. <laughs> I was going to say. No, I remember now. I remember. Okay. Overwatch is a very special game. Right? I'm, I'm going to make this point. What the hell was that? I think that's Battle.net going off in the background. I apologize. Um, look at Shroud. Everybody knows who Shroud is, right? One of the biggest streamers on Twitch. An amazingly, amazingly good FPS player. Where is he when he comes to Overwatch? I think he's in Plat. I think actually he was in Diamond, then he dropped down to Plat. What does that tell you, right? I've seen highlight clips of Shroud absolutely annihilate an enemy team with Widow. But Overwatch isn't just like that, is it? Overwatch is about playing what the enemy team have got. It's about making good decisions. It's about reading the map, reading the enemy team comp, using your ultimates in sync. It's teamwork. It isn't just lone gone off you go and just start killing people, which is what that player is extremely good at. So if that doesn't show you guys that mechanical skill alone is not enough to get to the highest levels of Overwatch, I don't really know what is, right? Because you have to use your head. And the whole point I'm trying to make here, a very convoluted point, don't don't get me wrong, is this. Watch. So as we go back here, watch this, right? So, okay, we're healing, whatever. Like I said, a little bit of a preemptive heal there. You know, it's not necessarily too bad. We can regenerate that healing juice, but just try and be mindful of pointless healing when we've actually got a Reinhardt barrier in front of us because nothing's going to get through. Or at least most things won't get through. Anyway, this is the bit I want to look at here. So we identify a person there. Now, in our head, we're like, right, there's one person there. They're from the side. I think what you're probably thinking is, okay, I need to do something about this person because they're pressuring us on the side. So it's just an immediate reaction like, okay, I'm going to throw this out. Also, the Batiste immortality field here is a waste by the Batiste player, but whatever, we know, we're not focusing on him. So you throw your orb at this guy. But the rest of the enemy team, and we already know this, is literally here in front of us. Look at that. So imagine if we threw our damage orb through that. Now, I'm not saying damage orb is the play. I probably would keep mine for the heal. Thing is here, we, we do have Immortality Field down. In fact, I was looking at the wrong team at the start of the match. This gets me every time. This absolutely gets me every time. So you, you, they do have a D.Va. Holy hell, that gets me every time that does. Blizz, you've got to let us change the colors round. It's so confusing. Ah! Anyway, this is you. So we get there in the end. Uh, yeah, so you've only got two healers. Whatever. Right, the enemy team got the D.Va. So when I said they've got the Genji that could deflect, that was totally wrong. They've got the D.Va that could eat it. So... There you go. The more you know, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, Abatis has used his immortality field. Whatever. You know, let him get on with that. It's cool. It's fine. We can't do much about that. But this does mean we can be more aggressive. Because while that's up, we don't necessarily need that massive healing. And are we winning the fight? Well, yeah. We kind of are. We're definitely winning the fight now. There's the first heal orb of the game. Arguably, at the time when we should have used the damage orb. Just think about value, right? I always go on about this, don't I? Value, 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 value. Let's just leave it on the screen for a bit. And let's just think, like, are we getting value? What we do? Well, we're dead, so we're getting no value now. I wasn't actually watching. So, <laughs> so in fact, let's go back. Uh, I don't think I can do that, actually. <laughs> let's go back. All right, okay, cool. No, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. Right, so we're alive here. Think about the value. Uh, we've faded. Do we really need to fade? I don't know. We're trying to get the damage. We throw out a damage orb. <laughs> That's why we died. Why would we do this? We need to stay alive. Look, you've almost got coalescence available, but I don't like you, you don't need to use coalescence to win this fight. But we throw out a damage orb. Why? Why have we done that? Think. Worst thing you can do in Overwatch is die. Do not die. Like never ever die. Well, you're gonna die at some point, but try and minimize that that death. Because if you healed yourself and you're alive here, you're still doing damage with suck, and suck will do more damage than your damage orb that you threw out there. A very weird decision. Maybe it was just a slip up. Maybe it was a, a misclick. I don't know. These things do happen. Also, when you fade with Moira, you should spam jump. 
at the end of fade because you'll conserve momentum and you'll go forward just a little bit. There is also, as well, to touch on this, a bunch of fade tech jumps you can do with Moira. This is it's kind of similar to Doomfist, where you can punch certain things and jump up with Doomfist. Um, the famous example of this is the rock in the middle of Hanamora First Point. If you jump towards that, you will bounce off it and go up to the high ground where the mega health is. But yeah, it's a very specific kind of skill, and you'd have to practice it. Um, you can do that with Moira. There's loads of other stuff as well, like on Route 66, you can use the small uh, fencing around the second point. Like, you know, where the wooden bridge is on the second point, you can use the small fencing there to jump up to the high, high ground, like on top of the saloon. There's a load of cute things you can do with it. But yeah, I mean, we can't, I can't really show you that in this video, but it is a cool thing to learn. So, heal all about. Yeah, we're winning the fight. I'm not going to get confused by the colors, which always confuse me. This fight is as, it's easy, it's whatever. Whatever. Like, Throwing a bit of the old, uh, like that. I, ah. You have a problem with value. You have a problem with um, when to use your, your abilities, basically, which is a bit... I th You know what you're suffering? I think a lot of players suffer from this. I think, I think this is like... Zarya players do this a lot. They pre-bubble. You're pre-orbing before damage actually happens. What I want you to do is wait until damage happens, then use your abilities so you get effect from them. Because remember, the way your heal orb works is when it's healing targets, it slows down. So if they're taking damage, it will slow down and stay with them longer and most likely deplete all of its healing, especially if it's into a clump of your team. Try not to be preemptive about this. Try not to just throw it out like, oh yeah, I'm going to chuck this out now because we might take damage. I mean, look, a little bit of heal on that Torp, but you could have healed the Torp just with your standard heal. All right, we need to be careful. All right. So we, we were... Oh, okay. So, I mean, let, let's be real. This... this Throwing the orb there was not the play. We should have threw the orb there. But should we even be throwing a damage orb out at this time? Because why are we using damage orb as Moira most of the time? It's to build coalescence quicker. But also, heal orb builds it as well. But generally, we use it to throw out into the enemy team as they're getting towards us when we know we don't need healing. Or if we're winning the fight, we can throw it forward when we know we don't need that extra healing to secure the kills to give ourselves coalescence charge. We already have coalescence. So throwing the orb out here actually is kind of pointless because all we're doing is we're giving ultimate charge to the enemy team because they can heal it up. And actually worse is we are using the cooldown. So we've now got eight seconds without this ability. And the big question here is, will this affect us? Let's just watch, right? Because if we lose this fight because we don't have enough healing, it's because you wasted your orb. You do have Coalescence, though, to back it up. So let's see. So we've faded out now. So now we've used our Disengage as well. So we're actually, like... Okay. Okay, it looks like we're going to take this. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go back. So I kind of like what you've done here because I like Coalescence for this. I like Coalescence for uh, starting an engagement. Normally, when you use Coalescence, even if you're not in voice chat, even if you're not like talking to your team, your team will probably just rush forward with it or they'll like, oh my God, Coalescence, let's go. And it does frighten the enemy team. But again, think about the value concept. Think about how do we maximize value here? So like we said, that's a waste there. We should have kept that for healing. We disengage. Now we've got no disengage. Then we use Coalescence and we fire it at our own team, which is a interesting decision. I don't know why we've done that. Again, think about value. If I was playing the Moira here, I would not use my Coalescence here. Like, we're getting no value. I would be here behind the Reinhardt. Or in fact, I'd be with my team there. I'd probably be here, right? And I would be firing the Coalescence immediately into the enemy team. That's what I'd be doing. But I'd wait a little bit. I'd wait until they engage us here. Now, remember, I just said, I do like the fact you use this to sort of kick off the fight. And we do know that you, your team do win this fight. But what I'd be thinking here is, no, I'm going to wait for them to engage. So as the enemy team push into here, right, then it starts getting a bit dicey. I can use Coalescence as a healing beam, not a damage tool, as a healing beam to put straight through my Reinhardt and anybody else who comes down into this mess. And we will damage the enemy team with it as well. Now, there are things you can do with Coalescence. Uh, the enemy team doesn't have a, um, an Anna, right? Anna's really nice to kill with this. So is uh, Mercy. You can just focus them down with your Coalescence and kill them, which actually is really like kind of cheesy, but it does work. Um, 
Anyway, they don't have that, so whatever. All we're looking for here is to just sweep it through the enemy team, get damage on the team, but keep our, our, our front line up. Thing is, though, like I said, just look at the value. So you fire it into your team, wasted. Then we turn it around. We fire it at the enemy team. The enemy team are kind of a bit worried. We get jumped on. We do get our torp healed there, which is fine. And then we throw out the orb. Now, thing with the orb and coalescence is if we go back again, I know this might be a little bit frustrating, guys, but I, this is a, a critical point to make here. I think you've... Yeah, you're about to use it, right? When we're using coalescence, this is a bit of a tip for Moira. We typically want to throw the orb and then blast coalescence, yeah? What you've done here is waste the orb, then you waste your um, fade, then you use coalescence. So you're not using them in sync for maximum value. Again, it's always this concept of value. At gold, well, at like silver, gold, bronze is a special case, right? Any of you guys out there in bronze, you just kind of really need to get down and, and learn the heroes, um, like your, your, your individual hero's ability set and just get used to the hero. But silver is kind of like, I sort of understand that, but I'm just sort of doing whatever I like. Gold is like, I understand that a bit more, but I'm kind of using my abilities a little bit better and maybe I'm using my ultimates with my team. Plat is like this weird place in the middle where sometimes people are really good with their ability management, but not great mechanically, or they're really great mechanically, but have no idea what they're doing with their, their abilities. You are showing me, you've got like a little bit, like it's a little bit out of sync what's going on. So remember what I said, this is not how this should have played out, right? We should not have faded there either. When this fight starts, we should have threw our orb into the enemy team. Or I hate you. So we could have we could have done both here, right? You could have thrown damage orb into the enemy team, or you could have thrown heal orb into your team. Then you coalescence. So you've got your orb out, you've got coalescence. It's massive value, right? Instead, we don't have that value. We do keep Torb up kind of well, which I do like. And then we go straight into heal orb, which again I do like. But that Batiste uh, immortality feel was quite nice. Uh, uh, I say that as if the Torb juice on the ground is the enemy Torb. It's not we are the red team. This is confusing as hell. Blizzard, we need the option. In fact, why can't you just... Why can't it always be the other way, Blizz? Like, ah! Fix it, Blizz. It's so confusing. Okay. Uh, heal, heal, heal. Remember as well, we always prioritize healing over damage. Always, always, always. We are a healer. We're not a damage dealing character. But the good thing with Moira is we're quite resilient if we get dove upon. Uh, we can do things to keep ourselves alive. All right, that I don't like. The reason why I don't like that is because it's going into the air. Think again about placement of the... Uh, well, just where the enemy team's going to be, right? We can see them because we're in the replay tool, so we can see they're all on the low ground. But we'd know they'd be on the low ground anyway because they don't have a Farah. The only hero that would be in the air permanently is Farah. So when we bounce our orb here, like, so we throw it in here, it goes there. It's going to go into the sky. It's going to get minimal, like minimal, minimal value. If we throw it into here, it's going to get more value. But remember, we have to be careful because they do have a D.Va and D.Va will just eat the orb. And we really don't want that because it's an eight second cooldown. Or is it nine second? Whatever it is, it's a long cooldown. All right, so healing Torb. And look, look at this again. We've almost got Coalescence. Now, a bit of a disclaimer here. When Roll Q goes live or Roll Lock, as they call it, uh, on Tuesday, you will not get ultimates this quick. You will get them 12% slower, I believe, or it might be 10%. I think Briggs got the 12% nerve on top of the 10. Harsh on Brig. Um, but yeah, you won't get ultimates this quick, but you will still get them pretty fast as Moira because she just generates ultimates fast. So I've almost got Coalescence again here. So they're coming in with a Pointless Dragon. I don't like that is a waste of the orb again. We know the enemy team wasn't there. We could physically see there was one person there and, and, and we just threw the orb out like, oh, there's the orb. Wait until you know you're going to get value, then use the orb. So our Ryan's going in. We coalescence this here. This is good. I like this. We should keep Ryan up. Yep, yep, yep. So you are, I mean, you're good. Like, I always worry. Okay, nice heal. I always worry about Moira players because heal, heal, heal. Oh, we've got no juice. No, we do have juice. Heal, heal, heal. Top, top, top. <laughs> top, 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 top. Heal, heal. Yeah. Okay, fade out of that. Well, we didn't even need to, so we're cool. Damage, damage, damage. Heal, heal, heal. Heal up out. Heal up, heal, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Why are we not using the orb? Why are we not using the orb? Heal, heal, heal. Yeah, always use the orb on cooldown in massive fights. Always, without question. It's more value than sucky, sucky. And even healy, healy. Orb, orb, orb. Okay, cool. Right. We did okay. In fact, we did more than okay there. We did quite well. You're not... So, things you're not doing, which... 
Sometimes, like this is this is how much of the wild west this rank bracket can be between gold and plat. Where you could have been a DPS Moira, right? And I was worried about that. You could have been a Moira that's just some, some crazed Moira who's on the front line doing mad stuff, right? But you're not. You're taking up good positions. You're prioritizing healing. You're just getting a little bit confused with when to use the orbs, when to use coalescence, and how to use them in concert, which I think is easy to fix. Um, so yeah, I think this is this is good. Also as well, we do have a Genji on our team. There is a slight combo we can do with Moira and Genji. When Genji blades, we can coalesce the Genji. So on our team, he's getting constant healing. So remember, coalescence got a pretty long range. You can like heal him as he's jumping around. And it's actually surprisingly effective. Okay, so the enemy team have got a couple of different heroes now. But they don't have a main tank, so they're screwed. I'm <laughs> just going to throw that out there, unlucky. We do, so we win. This hopefully... Won't be a problem with roll lock, although it still can be. But one thing I will say is because you do have the guaranteed two supports and two tanks, it's a bit more stable. Like in this, it can kind of go mad where, the, you know, supports can just start playing DPS or whatever. Anyway, so we've got all of our abilities up here. It's cool. Our run up pushes forward. We're getting a bit of healing off. We took damage, so we heal ourselves. I like it. I would. This is exactly how I would have played it. This is exactly the same. I like we're doing a little bit of damage there, it, uh, as Reinhardt's barrier was up, although it is now destroyed. Don't like that. I don't like Cheeky on the front line, because we could have got hit there by a bunch of crap coming through from Junkrat. Yes, we were immor in Immortality Field, but we're still going to take damage. Okay, so it looks like we are kind of losing this fight, and we've gone for a damage orb, not the play. This is not the play. Uh, damage orb here is just, like, we need to, we need to stay alive. We've lost our main tank. And actually, we, we missed with that and it bounced back. Look at our Batiste. He's, he's absolutely gagging for healing. He's dead. Look at Genji. Now, our Batiste, if we'd used our healing orb and then healed him, we probably could have kept him alive. Instead, we threw a damage orb in at a very questionable time. And yeah, I, I think the more I watch this, I just want you to use less damage orbs and use more heal orbs. You know, Moira, you could have faded away from that as well. Moira is... You can just do incredible amounts of healing with Moira if all you do is prioritize healing. Now, I'm not saying you should just do that blindly because there will be times when you should throw the, the damage orb out. But I think in your case, what I want you to do is if you're going to orb, just heal. Throw the heal orb out. Think, should I damage? No, I should probably heal. You see, so that damage orb there, right, isn't necessarily bad because you could argue we don't need it. But I think we got a little bit of sucky off here. I heard the sucky sucky noise. Or maybe, maybe that was our Moira. I don't know. I don't think we did. Okay, now we're going to do it again. All right, cool. So look now. It's four seconds into a fight. We don't have our orb because we just threw it away. Like, throwing away your orb is criminal as Moira. Don't throw it away when you know you're not going to get anything from this. All right. Unlucky from Junkrat, just throwing it straight into his Batiste. Again, we went for another damage orb, but now we've got Coalescence. So, given your trap record, I think you're just going to straight up pop the Coalescence. But again, you're out of sync, aren't you? Look, Coalescence is here. We know it's coming up. Um, you know, try and stay in sync with your orb and Coalescence. You're not doing that. Because imagine if we threw out the orb, even if it was the damage orb now, we throw it into the middle. I mean, I'm presuming you use your ultimate here. I... I I'd bet money on you're going to use your ultimate here. But you could throw your orb in, and then you could just blast Coalescence through as well. Maximum value, right? But, yeah. I mean... So we actually didn't get much much out of that. Did we throw another... Da Did we throw a damage orb then? So, like, this here, where we're just blasting into the enemy team. Okay, their Moira's healing them with Coalescence. The Moira's are just cancelling each other out here, so whatever. I can say you didn't get any value. You kind of did, because their Moira used theirs. It's, it's fine. Here, we throw a heal orb out. Okay, good. I was gonna. I was about to go ballistic. I was going to go, dude, why are you... What, like, what the hell, dude? Why are you throwing out a heal... Uh, a damage orb? But no. Yeah, I'm cool. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're worried now. Okay. Barrier. Barrier, Ryan, please. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, whatever. Ryan probably did the right thing there, bashing his brains out. Okay, so we're taking the point. Now, this point is notorious on Oasis for just being so difficult to take back. In fact, it's really frustrating, this this point is. It's annoying sometimes, the way Blizzard designed maps. He's like, wait, what are you smoking, Blizz? Why, why have you decided to put all this high ground and all this line-of-sight blocking crap in to get to the point? It's just like, what the hell? 
You can just endlessly contest the point. Right, anyway. So we throw the heal orb out. It's cool. I'll stop moaning about the map. Uh, did we get value? Don't think we did, did we? This is the big question here. Right, nice hook there. Nice hook. I like the damage. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. I, that damage orb, I'm like not the biggest fan of again. Just because the enemy team could push on us. And if, they, if there's ever danger of them pushing on us, we need the heal orb. So we're going to probably go for a damage orb again here, I bet. Yeah, so like you can't resist them. And look at our team. We're battered. We're absolutely gagging. We need healing. Now, we wouldn't have been able to stop that. That was just going to kill us regardless. Ryan, uh, yeah, can we keep him up? Okay, you may as well die on the point here because you're never going to escape. If you escape here, it's because the enemy team are bad, right? But what I'll be doing here is, right, right, the, we've clearly lost. Junkrat's killed three of our team. What we can do is try and keep Ryan up. We can throw our healer, which we do. And then we just sort of, now I would fade, not the direction you went. Uh-oh, I'd fade this way. And I'd probably just go inside the, but I'd just mess about on the point. I'd make it difficult for them to kill me as for as long as possible. But you are going to die. And in this example here, you can't get around that. But what will happen is you'll get more capture point. So it's worth it. Remember what I said, this point's so difficult. See, we back off. One thing we don't want to do is use our coalescence here. Uh, we get away with 20 HP, it looks like. All right. Cool. But we would have... You see, it's a difficult one, right? I can imagine, you know, you as a player there, I'll probably think, well, okay, that was the right thing to do. I survived, I didn't die. And this, again, comes down to, like, the when you're used to playing at different levels. So when I talk about, like, oh, you should have died on the point there, you should have died. And you only had 20 HP, so it's really, really close. The enemy team should have killed you. If I think the best way to do it, this is kind of look at it on, like, an odds basis. There's an 80% chance you die there when you disengage. 100% chance if you stay on the point, but you'll get more capture percent. I'd stay on the point. I mean, like... At my level, I would have just, I would never have been able to get out of that. And I think that's kind of the best way to play is to play as if you're at a higher level, right? Get those good habits built into you. Anyway, now what I'm looking for you to do is use the orb and coalescence to engage. The enemy team have got a lot though, so we're going to get grabbed here. So there's the orb. It's a damage one again. Like, why did we need the damage orb? Remember what I said earlier in the video? Like, why, what value does that give us? Maybe you're thinking I'm throwing it through the Batiste damage amp. Does it actually get damage amp? It must do, I guess. Projectile. I don't know if it actually does, you know. Yeah, it must do. But no, because it's like a damage over time. I don't know, actually. Does anybody know if Moira's orb gets damage boosted? I don't know if it does. I think we made a Mythbuster video on this, and so we might have checked it. I can't remember. Um, right, big Earth Shatter. Reinhardt's won this fight for us. Terrible, terrible, terrible grab there. Nice, 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 nice. Uh-oh. Fade. Fade, fade. Fade! No! 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 Why did you fade? What, what the hell? What happened there? Oh. <laughs> I see what happened. Unlucky. It was yellow, then it turned red at the last second. But that's just another thing, right? You talk about the Overwatch brain and all that stuff. That's what that's kind of about. Like, uh-oh, getting used to the range of that. I need to I need to get out. I mean, I would have just went behind the wall to be safe. Like, it would have just been an, a natural muscle reaction. I would have just stood there and looked at it like, ah, ha, ha. Because even when it's yellow, I think you can still take damage off it, but it just doesn't kill you, right? Knocks you back. Anyway, just run away from it. Hide. Use line of sight. So here, really nice coalescence targeting. I don't like that damage orb. I'm going to be real. I don't like that damage orb. Not at this point in the fight. Should have been a heal orb. This, though, yeah, look, it's yellow. Then it turns red because we moved forward a bit and then we're dead. See, Batiste had the right idea on our team. He was behind the wall. So that's unlucky. Our team are just going in here. I mean, this is, uh, I don't know, this is questionable. Torb's got a kill, though. This might be winnable. Yeah, that, you see that, Bat that Batiste immortality field is so clutch. Uh oh, they've got a Reaper. <laughs> Heal orbs, yeah. Heal him up. Heal him up. Heal him up. Yeah, Batiste is doing work. It's also annoying because you can't see the statistics as well um, when it's on the replay tool. So I don't know what your healing is, but, you know, maybe Batiste has got more. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Maybe he has. I don't know. 
So here, right, this is an example where you could throw the damage orb, and I'd be like, I don't care. Because the enemy team, look, well, we can see through the wall that they're not there, right? They're not together. It's going to be a while until they can push. It's going to be more than nine seconds. So what we can do is, or what I would have done, as soon as the point was capped, I'd have moved straight to this position. Straight, I'd have been where a soldier is, basically, and I'd just chuck my orb into them. Because it's like a throwaway orb. I know we've got time for me to get it back, but I won't throw him another one until they engage. And that's when I make the decision. Is it damage? Is it healing? Most of the time, it'll be healing, right? Because I don't want my team to die because I'm a healer. So I'd imagine you're probably going to chuck another orb. Okay. See again, like, this is fine. This is fine. But the question is, what do we do with our next orb? See, look, they can't push. We know they can't push. What are we going to do with this orb? Now, this is the this is the questionable orb, right? If you throw the damage orb now, it's a bit questionable because if you retained it, you've got it for when they engage on us. Remember, we can't lose a fight. If we lose a fight, we lose this point. So we have to be really careful. So we go damage. I don't think that's the play. That's not the play. We should have kept the, the heal orb. Okay, now they're engaged. Now we've got another choice. What are we going to go for? Heal or damage? Damage again. It's... Oh, Lord. It's way too much focus here on damage. Okay, this is... This is messy. Not sure. I'm not sure what that Moira's doing with their coalescence. I mean, we coalesce here. Like, th this is the end of the game. Like, we just have to use everything. I mean, it's not looking great. Not gonna lie. Oh, Torb could be clutch here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Tor the clutch Torb comes out of nowhere. <laughs> what? Uh. Nice, nice uh, uh, hide. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice uh, uh, dealing with the, the, the grab there. Obviously, fade out, heal orb in. It's all Gucci. Okay, we, we owe Torb a drink. Um, because he saved us. Oh, Lord. Well, I, I think he saved us. Heal. Damage all, but this, like... Actually, has he saved us? Because Reaper's killing everyone. Oh, Lord. Get in the immortality field. Yeah, heal, heal, heal. Heal, coalesce. What is this fight? Come on, track him. Come on. See, like, mechanically, you're okay, I think. You, you, you're not too bad. Will, will this fight ever end? <laughs> Can I go AFK and just get a drink now? Because, I mean, what was going on? Oh, look, Reinhardt's back. Has he been dead three times in this fight? Who knows? I am... Like, I, I am... I am... <laughs> Another Torbal. Hey, actually, that was, that was a nice combo from Torb and, and Ryan. Right, okay, that was amazing. So, I think we've covered it. I'm not going to recap this at the end of the video because I don't want it to go on too long. I think we're probably quite long. I don't know how long we're going for now, but it's a pretty long video. It feels like, anyway. Um, you're a good Moira, but Moira is going to be meta. I'm telling you this now, guys. Everybody should look at picking her up. I'm going to probably play a ton of Moira um, this season. I like, I really like Moira, but I think she's just going to be super good. Like, really, really good. Uh, yeah, guys, remember, if you'd like to send a video clip in for consideration to appear on the show, then follow the instructions that have been on the screen. And remember, guys, if you really like this video, then do like the video. That helps an absolute ton. I can't explain to you how much that helps just on YouTube with getting your videos recommended and all of that stuff. So like the video if you like it. Don't just blindly like it. Like it if you like it. Same goes for subscribing. Sub and tap the bell so you get alerted to when videos go live. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.